We're starting a new series today. Uh, every Tuesday throughout the summer, we are going to spotlight some summer beach reads. And joining us right now, Nancy Thayer. Her new book is Nantucket Sisters. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Pete. Thanks for being with us now. Are you on Nantucket? I certainly am. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I was saying before that uh, you have this, Nantucket Sisters. There's also, what, Christmas on Nantucket. So I guess you love the island. Well, I've lived here for 30 years, year-round, as we say. And I do love the island, and I love it in all seasons. What brought you to Nantucket? It's so romantic. I came to visit a friend, and I met a man. and <laughs> We met, and uh, we got married 30 years ago. She's still giddy. <laughs> <laughs> And Tell he was he was also a writer and a music lover. He had a record store back when there were records, <laughs> uh, and then it became a CD store. And uh, now he doesn't have it anymore because people download. Right there, there is uh, I guess vinyls coming back. I don't know if he's noticed that, but I uh, hope vinyl comes back because he has many many vinyl records in our house. <laughs> <laughs> so the the new book is Nantucket Sisters. How many books? have you written i've written 25 wow and i'm still trying to get the first one started (laughs) no i mean how how did you get started writing i always wanted to write people say that uh but i i started writing when i was a little girl and i i wrote and i wrote and i read and i read and um I didn't really get my first novel published until I was 35. Um, Mm. It took me a while to find my voice and who I was and the fact that I wanted to write about families and friendships and ordinary things. Um, I think I, I, I knew I didn't want to write romance novels because that's a specific genre that I didn't... I do want romance in my novels, but I didn't want to write that specific genre. So it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to write and what I wanted to write. This is an interesting uh, genre, as you say, to to write about families. Right, yes. Uh, Because I think families, we all have them. We all come from families. Um... I have a younger sister out in Kansas City. I have two children. I have three grandchildren. Um, And my sister and I will still fight over whether our father loved her or me best. (laughs) We have enough. This is the dad's answer. We have enough love to go around. That's that's what you think. <laughs> well, Nobody I believe I've got four. I've got four kids. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. So good for you. We're good talking to uh, Nancy Thayer on Nantucket. Her latest book is Nantucket Sisters. Uh, tell us a little bit about this story. I, I think it's really interesting. It is. I I I think it's a very good uh, Nantucket story, but also it fits maybe a lot of places in the U.S. today. It's about a very wealthy girl from Manhattan. Now, is she Piper or the other? She's uh, Piper. Piper, yes. She's Emily. You must have the first draft because in the the final version, uh, they changed her name from Piper to Emily. And I don't know why, but that was an editorial decision. Okay. Maybe maybe they thought Piper Porter was too difficult or something. (laughs) But uh, Piper slash Emily is from Manhattan. She's wealthy. She comes to the island with her parents, and she meets a poor girl named Maggie McIntyre. And Maggie lives in a small cottage, and her mother is divorced, and her mother's a seamstress. And, um, And Emily's mother doesn't want her to hang out with the poor people. But these two girls bond because they have a furious imagination. They have this fierce desire to play, to read books, to talk about the characters in the books, to be the characters in the books. And they, they're they such close, close friends, they decide they're Nantucket sisters. But then they grow up. And as you know, growing up changes a lot of things. Mm-hmm. It's a great story, and uh, yeah, it, it, Mom would rather have Emily be what with the the senator's daughters and things like that. Yes, absolutely, yeah. and marry the rich people and and um, and go to the cocktail parties. But actually, part of the book is also about love for the land and love for 
for the coastline, the water, the sea. And um, there, somebody on Amazon said this is a romance story with an ecology vibe, and I like that a lot. So it is a love story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, do the people on Nantucket or do, you, do your friends read your books and wonder, oh, is she writing about me? You know they do, and I'm very careful uh, because I don't want to be sued. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the help. <laughs> yes, um, but um, every now and then, for example, in Nantucket Sisters, I'll use a real name only in a different profession, mm-hmm. just as a little wink at a friend. Aww. <laughs> Now, how, are you are you already in development for another book? Because I've noticed with authors, it's like it's, you, you have to keep going, right? You have to keep the creative process going. Well, one of the fabulous things about technology and the e-readers, um, which everybody was so worried about, is that it's created a demand for more now. So do you like that or not? I love it. I love it because that's what I love to do. I love to write. So last year and this year I've written two books a year, and I've just finished my Christmas book for this year, which is called um, Christmas on Chestnut Street. And last year's Christmas book, which is a small gift book, had a dog in it. And on Facebook, which I adore, um, a lot of my readers said, hey, equal time for cats. You can't just have a, a Christmas book with a dog with a dog. Need one with a cat. <laughs> so Christmas on Chestnut Street has a cat in it, and it's much shorter. It's a Christmas book, so you know it's going to be light. Um, and um, now I'm writing my I'm working on my book for 2015, which is called The Guest Cottage. In fact, I'm up in my study now. Well, I was going to ask you that because I, I'm fascinated by the creative process. Do you do you have fixed hours, or do you write when the spirit moves you? Oh, no, I have fixed hours. I've uh, heard that from so many authors, and I'm thinking, how how can you turn it on and off like that? I think after a while, it becomes, it, it, it's like, an obsession. It's like an addiction. You can talk to my husband. He'll tell you, if I'm writing, I'm a happy woman. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not writing, uh, stay away. Be aware. So it seems like you have like a lot of different projects coming out so soon. Do you only work on one book at a time, or is it kind of like you go back and forth between a few? I, I do now, at this point, go back and forth because I work on, right now I'm working on the first draft of of the guest cottage, but I just finished copy editing the final draft of Christmas on Chestnut Street. Mm. And at the same time, I'm doing publicity for Nantucket Sisters, which just came out. So they're all at different stages. You're just working on them at different, okay, the different stages. And what uh, what hours do you, do you like to write in the early morning? Absolutely. Yeah. I get my cup of coffee and I come up and um, in the winter I might get up at five um, as soon as there's just a hint of light, or even before, because I love to see that light come up. And I have a study on, well, in our house, in the attic, but it's been turned into a beautiful room with a half-moon window. And right now I'm looking out at the harbor. Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> beautiful scenery. <laughs> Nancy you're Thayer. in Newport, right? I mean, not Newport, uh, New, New Bedford. Bedford. Yes. We've got a lot of excitement here this week that Charles W. Morgan is back, the whale ship. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that came into the harbor, and it was beautiful to see that with the sails, uh, the sails, uh, yeah. you know, full sail. Nancy Thayer, the author of Nantucket Sisters. It's available online. Do you have your own website, Nancy? I certainly do. It's okay. It's just Nancy Thayer. NancyThayer.com. And you can like me on Facebook, too, and I love Facebook. I, I correspond with a lot of readers that way. Nancy, thanks for being with us as we kick off our summer beach uh, reading series, and uh, we hope you have a great summer on Nantucket. I hope you do, too. Thank okay. you. Thanks. 